I'm Nick Miles for Dick Hanna Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Vancouver to show you this, the brand new Jeep Grand Wagoneer. This vehicle is making its great return after many years away. It's the perfect luxury vehicle for American families. We'll show you inside and out and put it on the road. This vehicle is actually a true luxury vehicle. You can see that by looking at it from the outside, looking at the finish on the inside and driving it. It rivals vehicles like Range Rover. It's smooth, it's very comfortable to drive, and it's got the power and performance of a luxury vehicle. So, and of course, the Grand Wagoneer has the 6.4 litre engine, and there are several different versions of this vehicle. Depending on how you want it kitted out, it's a true off-road vehicle. How do I know this? Well, apart from being told by Jeep and seeing the stats on how it's equipped with off-roading equipment, I've actually off-roaded it. I went to New York, Jeep took me there, and we actually took it off-road on a real off-road course. So. I have to say, I know it can do it because I've done it. So that's the first thing with this. It doesn't get that seven slack grill without Jeep actually making a true off-roading vehicle. Then there's the air suspension. This makes the vehicle a true uh, comfortable ride. It really does rival Range Rover in its luxury and in its performance but it's American made. I like to explain Wagoneer to people in the fact of it's kind of Range Rover meets Nashville. It's a true American superstar. And this vehicle really drives like a superstar as well. Put your foot down, it really does go. Um, really want to accelerate in this thing? I'll show you what I mean. Put your foot down, here we go. I'm up to 50 miles an hour immediately and in fact uh, unfortunately traffic won't tolerate me going much faster than that but this vehicle can really get up and go. The engine is perfect even if you have it loaded with the maximum amount of people this vehicle still has all the power it needs. Good maneuverability super comfortable ride as far as suspension and handling is concerned and really capable off-road plus it can tow and this has good fuel economy as well when i say nailed it i absolutely mean nailed it let's talk about interior and design first of all unbelievable amount of screen space in this vehicle you do have the first passenger screen in this vehicle. That is amazing. So it used to be that the place all the kids wanted to ride in years gone by was in the front, right? Every uh, kid wanted to ride in the front seat. Well, that went away and the kids wanted to ride in the back seat because that's where the screens were. Well, now they've put all the onus on wanting to ride up front again because they put a screen back up front. The passenger can assist with navigation. The passenger can watch their own movies. Uh, the passenger can also help do things up front for the driver as well. And the screen is so technologically advanced that the driver can't actually see see that screen, it's only uh, able to be viewed by the passenger. So the passenger gets their own screen up front, the driver also sees their screen, plus the driver has a complete digital gauge cluster in front of them. And the cool thing is that driver's gauge cluster is completely programmable, but the driver gets another screen up front with a heads up display, and that heads up display is really clear, tons of information. The technology doesn't stop there. There is so much technology in this vehicle. Again, I'm not gonna have hardly any time here to explain it all to you, but there are things in this vehicle like warnings for red light cameras. If you come up onto a red light camera, the car's gonna tell you you're coming up to a red light camera. If your traffic light changes um, from red to green, it'll let you know. Traffic lights change color, pay attention, it's time for you to go. The car moves ahead of you uh, in stationary traffic. So you're sitting here, you look down at your cell phone, the car in front of you moves away. The, the car will tell you, hey, traffic's moving ahead of you. There are so many things. There's screen after screen after screen of information. 
you can use it you don't have to use it it's programmable there are things in this car that you may never discover about it even after you've owned it for six months a year and there's things that you will come to rely on in this vehicle technology that you will come to rely on in this vehicle that will be absolutely unbelievably necessary for everyday journey uh, one of my favorite parts of this vehicle that I will tell you was the massage screen. So where you plug uh, your USBs in here, and this has a USB-A and a USB-B, two of each up front, plus right where you do your wireless charging for your phone. If you hit the little button here, it pulls the screen down, and that screen actually gives your entire massaging seats for front and rear, and you can decide how your massaging seats work. That's just the screens up front. I think it's 75 inches of screen space in this vehicle. It starts to be absolutely ridiculous. It's probably more, I've probably miscounted. Still they have hard buttons, volume, they have uh, the, the tuning scroll buttons, constantly have buttons on the screen here, they never disappear. You can program them, steering wheel buttons, you have all your cruise control, your adaptive cruise control. They've done such a good job about making this vehicle full luxury. And I haven't even started on the sound system. This, the Jeep brand, is the first brand to do a permanent deal with probably the top company to do home systems, which is Macintosh. Macintosh now putting a full system in cars, and that's the Macintosh sound system. And you want to spend five minutes just listening to that system because it's absolutely unbelievable in the vehicles. Front, back, far rear systems, the Macintosh system sounds absolutely perfect. You will find the drive, you will find the accoutrements in this vehicle, everything from how to get into the second, the third row. It's an absolute marvel. Jeep have absolutely outdone themselves. I'm actually proud of this vehicle. You have to test drive it. Wagoneer is America's third luxury brand. It's actually a standalone brand, even though it's the, under the umbrella of Jeep. And a few things they've done with this vehicle to make it look slightly different. Even though it's a true Jeep and has a seven slack grille, it's also capable like a Jeep. It can go off-road. It can cope in this kind of rainy, almost snowy weather. This has a shark nose up front, and that means that the hood is very long. It looks actually like a shark's face. It points out, it's longer at the top than at the bottom. Because this is America's third luxury brand, it looks like a luxury vehicle at the top. Wagoneer spelt out at the top. Then you come down the grill, you see this long, complicated grill that has lots of luxury features with the chrome type accents. Then going down, you have lots of portions of this grill, including the light portions at the side with the daytime running lights all the way down to the bottom and the air intakes. There's reflectors at the sides, beautifully crafted wheels by the Jeep team and then of course coming round the sides of the vehicle you see these very nice squared off wheels, sharp cuts in the wheels and coming around to the side Wagoneer spelt out on the side of the vehicle, monochromatic door handles with black tops, the American flag honoring those that served in all of the wars remember Jeep carrying people to the front lines in the Second World Wars and then the two-tone mirrors with those LED signals and the chrome piece there that is pure luxury traveling down the sides chrome around the windows chrome around the top two-toned roof rails big wide sweeping doors with slow angles nice wheel wells at the back and again round to the back huge pieces of glass and then you come to the trunk magnificent trunk with grand wagoneer spelt out at the back this really looks like a massive luxury vehicle Huge amounts of cargo space in this vehicle. If you want to store stuff behind the third row, there's 27 cubic feet. And if you put that third row down behind the second row, there's 71 cubic feet of space. All right, quite outstanding in the second row. There is 42 inches of legroom here in the second row, 40 in the first row and 36 in the third row. 
I almost feel like I can walk to the first row seats here. I have so much room in the back. And screen space, well, there are tons of screens here in the back and depends on what trim level you buy, you can also option up to more screens here in the back. And of course, in the back, this is one of the first vehicles to get the option of having Fire TV here in the back, which means that the kids or the adults, the grandparents here can use those Fire TV remotes to watch either uh, something they've plugged in with uh, their game sets or they can watch all their favorite shows with subscription services as well. Plus there's drink holders and of course there is that great Macintosh sound system with speakers in the back here and lights which go all the way across the back doors. And then there is the benefit of that panoramic sunroof that goes all the way from the driver and passenger up front and there is a third sunroof for the people in the back back rows and that doesn't even count the amount of USB ports here in the back the leather luxury here in the back as well this is probably one of the best cabins I have ever been in in a vehicle. I've flown first class around the world and it has not been as nicely equipped as the back of this Jeep Grand Wagoneer. There's three simple ways to test drive this Grand Wagoneer. You can either call, go online or come down to Dick Hanna Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Vancouver.